This is Wave 3 Listens Live. And give a call. Well, I say wide open lines, but actually we've got Donna hanging on from Columbia. So what do you say we go ahead and talk to Donna All right, before we take our first break? Donna? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Do you have a question for Mike? Yes. Um, I actually help my neighbor lady. She's 85. She's from Germany. She doesn't hear real well. And um, I'm sure a lot of people don't understand her real well. But someone hit her yesterday evening, and I'm taking her to the hospital here in about a half an hour. She refused an ambulance, but she was hit so hard it knocked her hairnet off of her head. Wow. And um, I just, was speaking as her advocate, was wondering what, what else I should do today for her. I was going to take her to the hospital to be checked out. She has a bad headache, and she said it did throw her head forward really hard. So we're going to get her checked out to make sure she doesn't have some whiplash and make sure she didn't have any back injury out of it. Okay. And we were going to pick up a copy of the police report today. You're doing all the right things, Donna. Now, does your uh, friend, does she speak English at all? Yes, she does. Okay. Just, you know, make sure that she does understand the questions that, uh, that are being posed to her. It is very important that you tell her not to minimize her injuries. Uh, we have a tendency when uh, we go to the doctor to try to make things seem a little better than they really are. Right. Uh, make sure she tells the doctor everything that's been going on with her from the time she was in the accident up until that appointment, whether it's gone away or not gone away, such as the headache you spoke of. If that goes away by the time you take her to the emergency room, she should still state that she had a headache because that could indicate that she had a, a concussion. Another thing that is very important for her to speak of is any other problems she's ever had with her back, whether they were minimal or not. And if the doctor asks her if she has been in prior accidents, to tell all prior accidents that she had been in, whether or not she had been hurt or not hurt. Okay. Well, I don't think she's ever been in an accident. Um, she was, like I said, she's 85. She's very... Uh, on the ball. She takes care of her sister who's 80 in a nursing home. Wow. She helps take care of all her affairs. Um, I just wanted, I stressed to her too, to be sure and not sign any paperwork from the other girl's insurance company. That's, that's absolutely correct. She should uh, hold off until she's feeling better and speaking with the insurance company, um, signing any paperwork. And if you like, Donna, uh, call my office and we'll send you a copy of my Seven Potholes book, which will have a lot of information in there. And if you would like to set up a time to speak with me about some other issues with, with your friend, uh, we can do that and we can either talk later today or the first part of next week. All right. Thank you so much for the call, Donna. We really do appreciate it.